that these Saturday walks are, are open to anybody who wants to come. If you want to come, fine. You don't have to be an experienced birder. In fact, we enjoy the beginners so we can help them and show them what it's about. Um, it's always good to see some nice little nine or ten year old with their mom real excited about seeing a bird and we help them whenever we can. So all you have to do is come, bring a pair of binoculars if you can. Sometimes we have spares, sometimes we don't, so if you can bring your own binoculars. And then we walk around the nature center trails. We pretty much have a standard regular route that we go on continuously. So please come and do it. By the way, all these statistics um, go into eBird and I'm not sure what they do once they're with eBird. Um, I'm sure they're recorded somewhere. So. We do a little bit of good in, in the sense of, you know, uh, seeing what kind of birds are out there for, for statistic purposes. Yeah, and that's available really to anybody who wants to not only just look at it, but even do some research. Right. So we've had scientists uh, yes. use that information. So. And also anybody, please come down. We, we'd love to have you. Um, we do it every second Saturday, regardless of the weather. You heard the previous Always story. Always at 9 a.m. Right? Always at 9 a.m., regardless of the weather, raining, snowing. Um, We've had as many as four, three people on a walk one time in the middle of the winter. And I don't know what our max was, probably 20, maybe. Probably We've had 25, maybe yeah. 30 in the, in the nice warm months. So please come down. And, Enjoy. And it's uh, usually, you know, scheduled, we say, well, actually, there's really no time limit. Depending on how the birding is, it can be uh, right. anywhere from two and a half hours or more on a really good day three, three and a half hours sometimes, but there's no obligation to stay with the group if you have to, you know, a lot of people feel obligated, maybe they have to stick around, and that's not the case. If, if uh, you get tired after a couple hours and you're more than welcome to head out, um, but after, after the walk, we do uh, um, a count of the species and the number of each species that we, that we saw, yes. and, and those are the ones that go into eBird uh, for records. And not only will you see some nice birds, but you, you could end up making some really good lifelong friends yes, as well. Yes, so, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and speaking uh, about the people that come down, um, mm -hmm. people that we've known for many, many years, and uh, which is why I'm glad that these walks continued, because I think a lot of the people that were coming down on the monthly morning with the birds were pretty upset that that series of walks was being discontinued and so they were very happy to see that we started up uh, with a monthly walk again. Uh, it's just getting together with friends once a week, mm -hmm. or once a month, excuse me, and um, and having a really good time, like I said, regardless of how the birding is, uh, it's always a good time. Yes, fun, relaxing, something I like to do. Please come and join us. You're welcome. We will help you. If you don't know birds, we will help, you know, with what's out there. We will try and teach you and make sure you see as many birds as you can. So, again, it's, it's the hardcore birders all the way down to the very novice birder. Please come.